Mohammed Kasim. Your your dreams have a, have a political geopolitical connotation and, and a suggestion of of how things are going. Please explain, you know, uh, wh where you were born and and how you happen to be in uh, Pakistan. Also, I'd like you to just introduce the the nature of dreams, and uh, no doubt there are references to it in the Quran. Greetings, Morris. Many peace and blessings upon you. You ask Qasim to describe himself and his lineage. He replied, My name is Muhammad Qasim. My father and I were born in Pakistan. I do not have any knowledge about my ancestors and family tree. However, I do know that we belong to the family of Quraysh, which is the tribe of Prophet Muhammad wasallam. I only know that there were many pious people in my family, and my father passed their names to me. You asked about the nature of Qasim's dreams. He said every dream of mine are completely aligned with the teachings of Qur'an and Sunnah. Such dreams are called Rahmani dreams, which means divine dreams in Islam. In these dreams, there are glad tidings and promises revealed. They could not be known by anyone except Allah. In everything I shared from my dreams, none are from my own self or Satan. I try my best to convey my dreams exactly as I have seen them. And I never interpret dreams by myself. Your videos often have political content, whether we're looking at Erdogan from Turkey or Modi from India or Donald Trump. And uh, I guess you are following the news uh, and you must have opinions during the day when you hear the news, what you think about it. But are your dreams in parallel with what your thoughts are during the day or are they different? You asked if dreams are influenced based upon thoughts about the news. Qasim says, I do not take interest in any of political news, but I do follow international news on daily basis. And it never happens that I have dreams because of political news or my own thoughts and opinions. You're living in a country that's not being very unified at this time. There are tribal areas, and I am not clear why there is a conflict with the tribal areas and Pakistan, uh, you know, the, the rest of the people in Pakistan. Perhaps you could explain. You wanted Qasim to explain the politics in Pakistan. He replied saying, I do not want to discuss any political issues. All of the events happening in Pakistan and the world, as well as future events are made clear in my dreams. Up until now, my only command is to spread my dreams to the entire world. Sometimes you have some videos, they're not in English, I, I, I guess they're in Urdu, and uh, they get a lot of views. There's one here with over 400,000 views. Uh, so I'm just curious, w w why are you concentrating on English uh, when there seems to be a, a, a huge following in, in the Urdu language? You asked why Qasim makes dream videos in other languages other than Urdu. He said, as I have told before, I am commanded to spread my dreams in the entire world. And English is a common language which can be understood by the entire world. I thank Allah for my dreams being translated into other languages. For this work, there are also other channels of mine in different languages. How can the normal person, the average person, heighten their awareness to their inner voice? In other words, how can they remember their dreams? How can they become aware of their dreams? How can they relate them afterwards? Is there, uh, are there any techniques that you could offer? You asked how Qasim is able to remember his dreams. Qasim says, this is a special mercy to me from Allah, that I am able to remember most of my dreams. I saw my first Rahmani dream in the age of four or five, and I can still remember that dream. And this is proof of my truth as well. Okay, as a final question, thank you for your time. You're complying with the Islam, Islamic laws, certainly as far as you see it, but there's some worry or criticism that you're not. Uh, so could you just clarify that what you do is um, halal? You asked if it is permissible in Islam to spread these dreams. Qasim responded by saying my dreams are not ordinary dreams. I am not spreading because of my own choice or my own benefit. But instead I am only obeying the command of Allah 
and his final messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I was given this command about two years ago, and I've been seeing these dreams for the past 28 years. I really appreciate your attention for my interview, and I thank you for your time.